and Great Britain. This one all get even over against Kim Bina. Even over, it's been a good day at the office. 2013 world champion, as you can see on your screens there, couldn't quite get it done in Muju. Nice moments for the young volunteer as well. Looking shy and nervous, but certainly not nervous. Known for her confidence, Kim Bina. Four-year-old Kim Bina from Incheon in South Korea. I'm sure you've all been there via the airport where you land, be it for the Worlds in Muju or the Chuncheon Open, as was. Kim Bina, or can she get the best result of her career? Get herself into the final. All get even over. What a day she's had! A nice wink there, and she's got lots to be pleased about. It's not a bad little win for you there. Zheng Shuyin, Olympic champion, fell by the wayside. And it was all over against Ivanova. Kim Bina defeating Reshmi Ugink and Eva Rados. Couple of big wins for her against top class European competition. Ana Hernandez, the Bolivian centre referee checking that the gum guards are in place. And who's going to be smiling at the end of this one? Ivanova in blue, Kimbina, the fighter in red. First of the female heavyweight semi finals, 67 and above. Even over trying to pretend with the punch there. Goes with a little front leg fake there. Kimbina does well to block that chop kick as she stormed in there. The Korean slipped off to the side. Change of stance there from Ivanova into the close stance. Right foot in front. And changing back out into the open stance. Neither wanting to walk forward. Kimbina knows that. Ivanova has an excellent backhand punch on both hands. Push kick missing there, well blocked by Kim Bina. It's been a slow and steady start from both fighters. And it's that fake punch so far. Simple from Ivanova, but certainly effective. She's killed enough of the clock. Tries with the back leg, well blocked there. Well, legs in a tangle, but nothing on the scoreboard. Ivanova again trying to draw in Kimbina. She loves to throw that punch, and there's the back leg as well from the Korean. Well, the punch, just a little bit of protection, getting yourself into that closer distance. Instead of overreaching with the back leg and leaving yourself open to the, the head kick. So good tactics from both. Nice push kick came at the back of that one there. All get even over. Well, she's not had to defend too much. Kimbina's not been very attacking. She's looked at the scoreboard there into the last reaches of this one. And time is up. And time will tell who's going to be the better of these two. Lots to ponder for the Russian. All get even over. It's Jang Jong Un, the Korean coach. Given some tactics, much needed for Kim Bina. A 
with Zhang Jialun, giving the last minute bits of motivation and of course advice and you've got to be sure don't give too much fighters have to rest and relax as well in the corner but the time for rest and relaxation is over and it's time to see who can book their spot into the Grand Prix final here big ranking points on the road to Tokyo hard to believe it's that time again already the Olympic cycle well and truly underway Tried to pull off into the distance, both Ivanova and Kim Binan. It's that control of the distance from the Korean that's helping so far. Footwork first, the motto of many. And so far it's worked for both fighters. Well, that land inside and change for left has worked so far for many fighters. Not there for Kim Binan. Good chop kick there, attempt from Ivanova. That big win against the Olympic champion from China. Well, that will do her confidence, the world of good. But no major scores from either. Headshot attempt there. Kimbina sliding over the shoulder. The body armor perhaps come loose. Yep, it has indeed. Good spot from the ref. Well, the running repairs complete, body armour in place, nothing doing on the scoreboard. A minute gone in the second. Kimbina tries to go with a second phase kick there, flicks out the first one. Well blocked. Last 30 seconds approaching here in the second round. Olga Ivanova switches stance. Chop kick pretty far away there. Well blocked there. Both arms drop from Ivanova. On to the business end of this second round. Neither fighter really committing to it. The referee not giving out any Gamjons as yet. Not been too much physical exertion from either, well not too much physical action, plenty of exertion, the footwork's exhausting of course but they will get a chance to recover now, end of the second Zhang Jong-un, well she knows it's a difficult tactical battle here for the coach, likewise for the Russians, and they've got a lot to ponder here, it's been a real close tactical battle, neither fighter really going for it in any regard, but they're going to have to go for it now, into the third, well I say final round, potentially the final round, could there be a golden point but trying to find any type of point at all, Will be a start for both fighters. Ivanova goes with a push kick. Kimbina bouncing up and down, trying to control the centre there. Headshot, not close, the distance too much to bridge. Well, it's probably a testament to Ivanova that these shots are still missing deep into the third round, usually you start to catch your distance, get your own timing. But neither has managed to to land with any sort of contact and impact, it's all been, well it's the ones that miss that often make you the most tired. All get even over. Tries to shift in there, the fighter in blue. We've well, seen Kim being at Getting close and then change stance. Can she find a time to do it here? Well, this would be the time. Not much of it left. Back leg well blocked by even over headshot misses as well. Well, we mentioned the golden point round. 
here at the Grand Prix in Moscow. Will it go that way? It's moving gently in that direction, but nice little footwork there from Kimbina. She's trying to control the distance. Shifts around past that chop kick. And it's that change left again under the guard. Not scoring though. Last 20. Time of the Athens now. Grand Prix final at stake. Are they going to go for it or are they going to wait for the sudden death round, the golden point round at the Grand Prix here? Front leg well blocked there from Ivanova. Clock ticking and I think yes, we are going to see the golden point round. One point will be the winner. She's going to have to bite down on the gum shield in this one. Kimbina came close with that. Olga Ivanova likewise. Female heavyweight final in the offing. Olga Ivanova with that big win against the big champion from China. Shui Yingjin, Olympic champion, defeated. by Olga Ivanova, understandably the Russian home favourite but neither fighter been able to get any sort of dominance here Kimbina working off that front leg again tries to sneak forward this is the golden point round at the Grand Prix here in Moscow first point is going to be the winner skip in there from Kimbina the tension palpable now Olga Ivanova does well just to avoid that one the Russian on the front foot. Back leg shot there from Kimbina. Well blocked by Ivanova. Well, the Korean just missing with that back little shot there. Little front leg to the body. Slips past the guard. Ivanova trying to focus here. She gets close with a little push there. 20 seconds left in the fourth. Well, of course, as you'll know, if it doesn't score, it will just be who's got the most contact. Who's hit the most to the body armor? Kimbina working hard here and she finds an answer. Well, on the very last seconds of the golden point round there. It was that shift left leg to the body that worked. She tried it seven or eight times. But perseverance pays off for Korea's Kimbina. She's into the final. It was that little change left on the inside, popped it down, dropped it under the guard, and she finds herself into the final. Coach delighted, the fighter even more so. And who will join them as we see the confirmation there? Dolga Ivanova, the home favourite, defeated in the end there.